Hi, I'm Gerald. I'm Scott. And we have given a presentation in our Discrete Methods class about how to solve the Instant Sanity game. Now, we're going to condense that a bit and make this video. So, the Instant Sanity game, we've got four cubes with four colors, one on every side. The goal of the game is to arrange those cubes so that this resulting shape on every side, all colors come four times. So, for example, this is not a solution because there are two blues and it's missing a red. So, how do we solve this little game? We can solve it using graph theory, a topic in discrete methods. So, first, we draw a graph, a uh, general graph with each vertex representing a color, one for red, green, blue, and yellow. So, what we do is we now designate one of our cubes, cube 1. So, on this one, we just take any side and find opposite pairs of colors. For example, there's red, and opposite this is blue. So what we're going to do is use that to draw an edge between the red vertex and the blue vertex. So, between red and blue comes an edge, and we will label it cube 1. So, we find the other pairs. We've got green and yellow. Here they are. Label that one. And we also have blue and green. So, one. Now, we take cube 2. So here is our resulting general graph. You can see each cube has produced um, three edges. So for four cubes, we have 12 edges altogether. So that's a good check. Now, our job to find solutions to this is to find subgraphs. And those subgraphs have to meet certain criteria. The degree sequence has to be 2, 2, 2, 2. So basically we're filing, finding uh, Euler in cycles. Um, it could be one or it could be a few of them. And these are general graphs, so the loops are fine. It doesn't have to be connected. So let's go. So we make our subgraphs, our vertices, and one subgraph would be shape with edge one, two, three, and four. So we have two Euler in cycles and it uses, oh yeah, uh, one of the criteria that it needs to use every uh, cube at most once. So we need to have one, two, three, and four included in our graphs. I just labeled that. So we find another subgraph. We need to find as many of these as we can. So another one could be edge one here, four coming down, two going across, and three connecting it here. So we have uh, an Euler in cycle, and it uses each cube once. Now, when we're looking for solutions, it's going to consist of a pair of these subgraphs, and each one has to use unique edges. So, for example, these two are not solutions because they both use this edge 3. So we need to find ones that do not share any common edges. So, another subgraph we could make. Three, four, and one and two right here. So, as we can see, these two, I believe, meet that criteria. They both have unique edges, and they are Euler in cycles. So, our next step is to determine a direction to these. So, all we do is place little arrows on our edges to make a direction to our cycle. It does not matter which direction. Uh, the direction you choose for your first graph has no influence on your second graph's direction. So, now that that's done, we label one front and back. 
an arrow pointing to one of them. I chose front. And um, top and bottom with the arrow pointing to the top. So how does this represent a real solution with our cubes? We take our cube one and what we do is we find its respective edge in the first part of our solution. Now the arrow points towards the front as indicated with the name and the arrow points away from the back, the colors that are on those sides. So here it says that for cube one our front should be blue and the rear should be red. So we find that front's blue, rear is red, and we place that down. And it also, now we come over to our second graph and we find our edge one, the top must be blue and the bottom must be green. So top is blue, bottom green, and we have our orientation correct. So we continue with all these cubes. Cube two, the front should be red and the back should be blue. Front red, back blue. Over here the top should be green and the bottom blue, so we have that. For cube three, front is yellow and the back is green. And the top is red, the bottom is yellow. And finally, cube four, front green, back is yellow. The top is yellow and the bottom is red. And as you can see, this has produced a solution to our game. Now, of course, this is not the only solution. This particular game has three solutions, um, but it varies depending on your color patterns. And thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.